What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so in the midst of this media manufactured, democratic, gatekeeping, manipulation tactic of giving the appearance of 2008 Obama esque level excitement and support for their DEI candidate. And yeah, I use that term because I have no respect for this woman. Kamala guzzle, 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 or spit Harris. It's not real in my opinion. I think a lot of these polls are cooked. Um, you know what I'm saying? They, they talk about all these, you know, this Zoom call with, with 50,000 uh, black women on there and another Zoom call with supposedly 50,000 black men. Um, at the end of the day, and by the way, don't get on me about this Michael Jordan meme. I know a lot of you guys are Michael Jordan fans. I'm not calling Michael Jordan a... Um, one of the crying Negro committee. I'm just, it's just a funny reference. So, you know, just like I know Anthony Anderson isn't a political pundit, but it's just a funny meme. So that's why I have that up there. But what somebody, man, Michael Jordan got to do this. What the hell? I'm stupid. But yeah, man, um, the usual suspects are coming out trying to browbeat all of us into supporting her for president. A woman that has never achieved anything without it being handed to her. You know, she's, she's never achieved anything without it being handed to her. And, you know, I, I just don't have a lot of respect for people like this, man. I, I've, I've encountered people like this in my life. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong to a certain extent with the process of nepotism if the structure of it is ultimately for the better good. I've talked about that before with the Bonnie James thing. But she's not for the betterment of our people. And she's not one of the persons who should be in this position anyway. And certainly you shouldn't get positions based on the satiation of your superior's sexual appetite. That's not a very admirable or really moralistic avenue for advancement. I'm sorry. I just have no respect for it. I mean, we don't respect people who butter up and kiss the ass of the boss. Figuratively, let alone someone doing it literally, well, more probably the front than the back, but I don't know how freaky she gets. But no respect for her. I don't. I don't have any, man. And, you know, I don't want to get around, go around pretending like I have all this respect for her. And if she becomes president of the United States, this country has finally... If she becomes president of the United States, this country has finally gone down the moral drain into the scepter sewer of absolute decrepitude. We would be literally the living, actual embodiment of idiocracy, the movie. I mean, we're already moving there anyway. I reference that movie a lot because that movie, for all of its funniness, for all of its zaniness, an exaggeration at the time, we literally are becoming that type of society. I mean, look at our politics. Look at our candidates. One of them is a bloviating, inarticulate, you know, bully who's not a mental heavyweight at all. The other one is a person that says a lot and says nothing. Uh, can't even handle the can't even handle the simplest task 
at her position. And without the aid of media steroids and people working really, really hard to scrub the internet of all of the incriminating evidence that we have on her, she would be a literal featherweight. Don't get me wrong, media steroids helped Bill Clinton in 1992. Obama didn't really need it in 2008. But she's taking the stuff that, like I said, the Arnold Schwarzenegger would be jealous of. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia came to get his hands on the type of media steroids they're pumping her ass up with. By the way, you know, she really ain't got much of a, you know, what, uh, when you really look at it. That's another telltale sign she's not a real sister. You know, she has the middle age spread, but she ain't really got the, you know, her shit's supposed to look like airbags at this point. Hers look more like deflated airbags. But, yeah, man, you know, um, I'm not falling for all of this stuff, man. I'm not going to be browbeaten. I'm not going to be pressured. I don't care how emotional some of these guys get on TV. I don't care uh, how passionate they are in the comment section. I've all I've seen all of the tactics, the shaming tactics, you know, uh, the 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 cherry picked information they put out there, the misleading and outright false information they put out there about her, trying to make her out to be some champion. Since when has this woman been a champion of the black community? And to be honest with you, all of that first historic stuff, uh. I missed me with that. Okay. That that went by with me when it came to Barack Obama. That's the last time I fell for that banana in the tailpipe gag, man. Um everybody, so what he was a historical candidate. Yeah, it felt good and all that. I admit that. Uh, it felt good to see this guy get elected. And I really thought naively that he would attempt change. I mean, I knew. The, the power structure would limit him. I, I I wasn't that naive, but I thought the guy would do something. Nope. The only group that made a major advancement in this country are the same ones that put on that sorry spectacle in the Olympics. That's all I'll say about that on YouTube. That's the group that made the advancements. Because remember, candidate Obama in 08, candidate Clinton, Hillary in 2008, all were against alphabet marriage back then. Remember that? But they were changing their tune by the next election cycle. Why? Because of the power of the purse strings when it comes to that community. They don't really have kids. Um, they have to they tend to be in high income brackets. Um, they actually benefit from the DEI stuff. Everybody keeps thinking about black folks, but they're the ones and women, white women. Uh, when you really look at the numbers, white women and those alphabet people, they're the ones that benefit the most from DEI. If you really look at the numbers. But anyway, yeah, those are the people that benefit, not us. And they're not talking about, she's not, they're not talking about anything tangible for us. For us. They just keep talking about this historic first and all this. So who gives a damn? That's another thing I don't get about that, y'all. Why is it okay to vote for a candidate solely on race on the left? But if a, if a, let, let's just be honest with you. Let's be honest. If somebody on the right said, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump because he's white, wouldn't we call that person a racist? I'm just I'm just being honest here. You would say, and I would say, how dare you vote for somebody based on the color of their skin? You should vote for somebody based upon their qualifications, regardless of skin color. But uh, isn't that what they pretty much trying to pull on the left right now? Well, we don't care if she don't do this. She'll be the first this, so vote for her because of her she's black or because she's a woman, even though she's really not black. I'm like, wait a minute. So it's okay to do it on this side, but I don't know, no, no. 
No. If that's the case, I'm talking about this other day with somebody. If that's the case, then uh, maybe we should have supported Ben Carson. I mean, he's black, right? Uh, maybe we should have all should have voted for Jesse Jackson. He's black, right? Maybe we all should have just voted for, mm, you know, Alan Keyes or, you know, Herman Cain. If it was just about that, right? But anyway, I don't know if this woman's going to be next president or not. I don't have a crystal ball. But I do believe one thing. All these polls that showing her winning in a semi-landslide, I would pump the brakes on all of that. I really would. Um, she's going through a honeymoon period right now. Uh, we got to wait for the convention, which is uh, in about... Mm, two and a half weeks, I guess. We got to wait for the convention. And then afterwards, once we hit September, when people really finally start talking about and focusing on this election, debates, the debates, when they talk, actually try to debate policy, uh, that's when we'll see whether this is real or not. Because she's still not really been tested yet you know she's still going through the honeymoon period remember sarah palin was a rock star in late august of 2008 and by a month period of, after a month she was a complete and total joke now she did have to deal with a little bit of left-wing media bias but smart people will be able to tell whether this is real or not with campbell if it's if it's real Hey, by October, I'm going to tell you, look, man, I ain't going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you want to got to hear. Trump in trouble, man. If it's real, I'm going to say something like that. If it's not, I'm going to be like, look, man, all you Kamala Harris supporters that's marching around, trying to browbeat brothers into voting for her, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you. Don't be... Don't be, don't be, don't be pulling. You know what I'm saying? Don't be going around throwing things and punching the air. Don't be punching the air in the next, you know, Wednesday morning. Because I'll tell you right now, might be close, but no cigar. But anyway, that's all I got to say about this one, man. All these dudes on TV crying and whining and boohooing about somebody ain't going to do nothing for you. All these actors. On TV, trying to pull at your your heartstrings, and you know, trying to get into your good graces, and trying to make you emotionally invested in her. <laughs> <laughs> Out of here.